Fischer in Lounge. Fischer in Lounge. Ja, please. Ja. SME Platform. My name is Sheila Kawamara Mishambi and I'm the Executive Director at the Eastern African Sub-Regional Support Initiative for the Advancement of Women, AEC. And we work with women cross-border traders uh, across Eastern Africa uh, in the six countries and uh, we are working at 20 borders, working with women cross-border traders. And, uh, uh, the East African Business Council uh, is launching a portal that will help and benefit women cross-border traders to put their, their products, to put their products out there and be able to sell online. However, this also poses quite a number of challenges. It is a very good thing that uh, that's where the world is going with the e-commerce. But uh, I think for women cross-border traders and the uh, SMEs, it poses uh, quite a number of challenges, in the f given the fact that uh, uh, the majority of women cross-border traders, for example, are not very well schooled. So it becomes very, very uh, difficult to uh, engage in some of these online platforms. Uh, but at the same time, we cannot run away from what where we are going. So I think we shall uh, need to uh, maybe request our governments, request our development partners to see how they can help that these such platforms that come up are simplified in the language the women traders understand. Just like you see when the smartphone came, we thought uh, uh, the people that didn't go to school may not be able to apply such platforms but then with time we've seen that uh, actually everybody is applying them some of them have been simplified the languages have been simplified so we I think applaud uh, such initiatives that are going to help uh, most many of them expand their businesses beyond their localities yeah. uh, once the such initiative uh, once uh, they have appreciated it and they are able to take it up Take it on. Uh, definitely, we see the women expanding their businesses beyond a particular border. For example, if I've been trading at Mutukula, most likely now I'll be able to sell my my commodities all the way to Dar es Salaam or to Nairobi, and Mombasa. Yeah. So we 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 believe that even as the African continent of free trade area expands our reach these women will be able to send their products without physically traveling to those countries. Because currently the challenge is, uh, if you want to trade, we have to physically meet and interact and trust each other. But the online trade, you are able to uh, put your product out there, you are able to receive payment from the buyer without ever seeing the buyer or even talking on phone. So we believe that uh, once they have appreciated it, it will broaden their market, not only within East Africa, but across Africa. And also we may be able to get into the global markets. Um, of course, uh, uh, physical trading poses a lot of challenges. Uh, first of all, uh, when you look at the region which we are in, uh, transportation costs are enormous. They are, that is a huge problem that faces most of them. And uh, at the same time, uh, while you were, you're moving up and down across the borders, the women traders will tell you all stories of uh, how their rights are violated, they are abused, and of course, uh, we have a challenge of uh, having information not uh, being, uh, some of our information is actually as if it is hoarded. People have the information, but we never get to know about it until you are in that particular category. So you find that a number of traders sometimes do not have information about the taxes, if you're trading across the border, they don't have to, uh, information about the rules of movement, the rules of engagement, and all those are very challenging in terms of uh, people expanding their businesses. So my name is Kingsley Melita Kipuri. I'm the Director of Strategy and Partnerships at the SME Advisory Unit in the Executive Office of the President of Kenya, focusing on SME matters. 
in terms of the issues we have today, as we mentioned, there's tremendous potential, but at the same time, there are still barriers and challenges. One is access to suitable finance, uh, which I think has been spoken about. How do you access trade finance? You have an opportunity in a different country. How do you fund uh, the working capital, the capital expenditure that you need to sell in the other market? How do you do that? There's transport. Currently, approximately 40% of the value of business is lost on transport and logistics because of insufficient infrastructure and transport. Uh, there's market intelligence. How well do you understand the opportunities? DRC has joined. How well do you know exactly what they need at the price, the volume, and the language barriers, the standards, there's customs, there's non-tariff barriers. So there are quite a few obstacles that the EAC, together with Kenya and the EABC, are working very closely on. I think how the portal begins to resolve this is, I think one huge thing it resolves is market intelligence. Right now, you have to spend a lot of time and money traveling, trying to understand other markets. Uh, if I'm selling honey, if I'm selling blazers, how do I understand the sizing, how do I understand the coloring, how do I understand uh, the volume that they need. Right now, the portal is already enabling your customers to find you, you to find your customers and providing market intelligence at a much lower cost. That can equal profit for you and that can enable you to use that extra money for your other research and development. So I think that I dare say the number one thing the portal helps with is market and intelligence and market access. Number two, it can help resolve access to finance by, by helping be a, a proof of concept for an SME. So currently, if you have a business plan or a proposal that you want to take to a finance partner, to Equity Bank or to Afri Exim Bank or even to your government, you're able to say, through the portal, I have 20, 30, 50 customers in this country. And it's, a, it's, it's additional proof for your ability to access funding as you trade in the other country. So I dare say that the, 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 the three solutions that the portal provides right now is market access, market intelligence, helps build a case uh, for access to finance, certainly.